I guess the, uh, the first thing I would want to say is just how much I miss being around uh, all of the amazing people that I did meet when I was in Zimbabwe and Malawi. I, I honestly left for my mission as a boy and all of you took care of me and strengthened me and, and made me into uh, made me into a, a, a better man. I it's true when people say that they think about their mission every single day. Um, I think about the people you guys that I met every single day, the the ones that watched me struggle with with learning how to say Maitabasa and and Salibonani and and Zekomo and and just watched me go from Elder Skoro Skoro and uh, Elder Ski and Elder S and all the little nicknames you guys had and I. I love you guys so much and I and I think about you and I pray about you often. I wish that I uh I pray that one day soon I'll be able to come back and 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 see how you're doing in your lives. But until then I just have to hope that my information from from Facebook and and uh and from phone calls every now and then are going to be enough. Um, I, I called many of you my, my babas and my mamas, and that's true. You are my family. You're my parents. You're my brothers and sisters. And I was happiest in my life when I was with you. When I was uh, sweaty and in my white shirt and tie every day, wearing out my shoes, um, doing what I could to, to love you and to love everybody that we met there. And so I, I pray for you guys. I want you to be as happy as, as you were when we were teaching people and when we were sharing gospel stories or fam having family home evening together. Um, so know that I love you and I miss you. And if you guys ever need anything, you let me know.